I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sir. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he Never. not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for them now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. We'll get his dog at theirs. Mm. Keep that there for now. Six string. Six, thirty-six, thirty-eight. He's not quite there, but I'm bring that stuff with me anyways. Actually, you know what? Play flex thirty-one strength. I'll keep Blight Blood here because he's got King Eric's sword. Head back to camp real quick. How is it that you can wheel it now? It makes no sense. Ah, so be it. You can use Kalen's shield now, though. That's good. That's four. Yeah, it's still better. Mm. Damn it, man. You're almost there. Get you one more level and we'll be able to get you equipped with that stuff. So, not yet. Fair enough. Yes. Yes. Indeed. And we'll head to dinner. Can't do anything with that. Magic. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Nice to see you again. 
I found these scrolls in a Tervinter ruin. Really? Oh, pardon my incredulity. I would like to examine them in any event. Be careful with them, they seem ancient. Let me see. The scrolls are old, no question, and the script. It's written in cipher. Early believers used them to keep their writings safe from the Devinter Magus. These could be authentic. Please, let me examine it. Here you go. I need parchment, quill, and ink. What was the trick to the cipher again? Ah. I examined your scrolls. I know a few of the early Chantry ciphers, but I'm not fully familiar with this one. The bits I have made out. This may be an account of Mafarath's final days, and perhaps more. Mafarath, isn't that um, Andraste's husband? I know. It's remarkable. The same Mafrath who betrayed our prophet and saw her burn alive in Minrath Rus. If we could get a real translation, well, it could be the find of our lifetime. How long will it take to decipher? It could take months. The ciphers were designed to be difficult for the Magisters to decrypt. Who knows what secrets we can uncover, what truths we can find. Here is all of the allowance I have for acquisitions. Take it and go. A thousand, thousand blessings. Hey! That worked out swimmingly. Edwina sends her thanks for getting rid of the Crimson Oars. Mind you, she's disappointed there was no fighting. Here's payment. You've helped out a great deal. More money. I have something for you. The market district is a whole sight better because of what you've done for us. I know this may not be much, but it's an extra thanks. A lot of folks swallow whatever lies are fed to them, but us believers will try and spread word about you and the wardens. Thanks. Nice. More money. To Wade's Emporium. He's going to be ecstatic to see all these new Drake scales. Aaron's gonna be pissed. Did you bring more scales? I want to try again. I've learned so much. Wade, please leave the customer alone. How can I help you? Um... Have more drink scales. You must be kidding. We're done. No. <laughs> Aaron, more scales. I can make another set. Dear Andraste, no. I've been thinking every night about what I'd do different. It's all in my head. Dear Heren, don't worry. I can make it faster this time. You can? You worry too much. Just give me the scales, friend, and I'll have my finest work for you. Here's 20 sovereigns for incentive. I want it perfect. Perfect, you say? Well, there are a few alterations I could make. I'll close up the shop then. No more new orders! Think of the possibilities! <laughs> We're closed. Oh, it's you. Your armor isn't done yet. Come back later. Damn it. Alright, we'll save. Or I'll even. Then we'll fight Flemeth. And right to the village we go. No interruptions, no interruptions. Come in.
Faith, can they go there? No. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? I'm an important business. I need to see Arlene. Even... The Arl? Then you, you, you don't know. Has nobody out there heard? I've heard that Arlene is sick, if that's what you mean. He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Is anyone surprised? Anyone? We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. He's just over there in the Chantry. Please, come. Damn it, I should have brought Alistair with me. It's not necessarily a bad thing, I just think it'd work better for the story that's going on right now. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They're obviously not simple travelers. Oh, good eye. <laughs> no, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the Arl. You're a rather unusual group, to say the least. Can I ask who you are and why you've come? I am a Grey Warden, here to speak with uh, to Arl Eamon. A Grey Warden? I thought you all died along with my nephew. At least that is what Loghain would have us believe. Your nephew? Even though I know who it is. I refer to Caelan, of course. Our sister was Queen Rowan, King Merrick's wife and Caelan's mother, make her rest her soul. There is a Grey Warden who goes by the name of Alistair. Does he yet live? He's alive. He travels with me, in fact. He does? Finally, some good news amidst all the bad. Thank you. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. What evil things are you talking about? Some call them the walking dead, decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come with greater numbers. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. I'm asking you, please, help us. Help Eamon. First, I have some questions. By all means. Isn't there a way into the castle to get to the source? The castle is closed to us, its doors barred. We could storm it, certainly, but what would that accomplish? Our numbers are too few. We cannot throw men at the castle walls when they are needed to protect the village. Why don't you just evacuate the village? I tried. Our one attempt at an organized evacuation resulted in an immediate attack. Yesterday, I found out these creatures attack those fleeing on their own, even during daytime. Whatever lies in the castle wants this village dead. What happens after tonight? Once the village is safe, we will try to enter the castle to find the source of this trouble. I've heard enough. Then you will help us? Very well, I will help. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. 
You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Tell me more about yourself. This is hardly the time to be discussing personal details, don't you think? We will have to fight for our lives very shortly. And thus I'd like to know something about you. I suppose that's not too much to ask. I did not mean to be brusque. What would we do if Arl Eamon is dead? I don't know. If Connor lives, he'll be the Arl and I'll need to help him with it. If he's... well... I don't want to think about that. Why have you stayed? Why didn't you just leave? After the first attack, I wanted to go for help, but I couldn't just leave these people. The Bannon gear up to battle Loghain while Darkspawn loom to the south. Loghain won't send anyone, so Redcliffe is on its own. Are you a skilled warrior? Skilled enough to know there are many far better than myself. Perhaps we should get back to the matter at hand. Good, then my secrets are still safe. I was worried for a moment there. Isn't timing this awfully convenient? Are you suggesting what's happened here is related to Kaelin's death and the Civil War, even Eamon's illness? Do you know why all Eamon is ill? No, I do not. I arrived recently myself, having heard the news. I know as much as you do now. Isn't Arl Eamon an heir to the throne? Our sister was Kaelin's mother. I suppose we've royal blood, but it's a shaky claim to the throne, though still better than Loghain's. And it does mean Eamon could intervene in Loghain's bid for the throne, but let's not leap to conclusions. I would not like to think that anyone would wish this on my brother. He is a good man and much loved by the people of Redcliffe. And I can't imagine how terrible it must be for our lesser Isolde, and especially Connor. I would not want him to lose his father at such a young age. You have some of Arl Eamon's knights here? I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Their search for the Urn of Sacred Ashes? Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Hmm. Why are you in the Chantry with the villagers? Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. I don't mind, to be honest. The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. Do you need more men in here with you? We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. I should get back to work. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Mm. Oh. I'm so scared, Father. I wonder if I could leave without it getting into the whole conflict and just completely screwing me over. I'm gonna try. If all else fails, restart. As much as I don't want to do that, but I really feel it would be better if Alistair was among us for this conflict. Actually, I forgot. I don't even have to leave. Of all the. Yes. There. Like I said, it just feels best to have him here for the situation and all that's going on with all Eamon. I mean, it's Bantigan. Sorry for being repetitive. Let us pray. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou to be seen. Who is this you brought with you? He looks a bit familiar. You don't recognize me, Bantigan? Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Alistair! Oh, but it's good to finally see you. When your friend here told me you were still alive, I could scarcely believe the good fortune. Still alive. And believe me, I'm just as surprised about it as you are. 
I am less surprised than you might think, despite what Loghain put you through. I'm glad not all the Grey Wardens are lost. It lifts my spirits to see you here, dear boy, and my hope for tonight is renewed. What do you need? There is not much daylight left. See what I can do. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. See, already a morale boost. You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds? My husband and son went there to bring the Chant of Light to the Chastened. But I haven't heard from them since. Are you Jenna? I am. You've heard of me? I have something here for your husband. Oh? Oh, his lockbox. If you're bringing me this... Oh no. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for bringing this to me. It means a lot to him. Make his blessings upon you. Yes? I'm sorry to tell you that your husband is dead. What? This is terrible. My beloved. Although I guess I could have handled that a little bit, a little more, ah, a little bit more tact. Especially considering there's a bunch of undead attacking this place. Oh well. Sorry, am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Are you all right? Why are you crying? Those, those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Why would he run off, do you know? He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. Grief can make us do many things that don't make any sense, I'm afraid. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. Don't worry, I'll look for him. You will? Thank you so much. Please find him. Well, of course. I mean, armor's not going to make you harder to hit. If anything, it make you bulkier. In a logical kind of sense. Not maybe gameplay mechanics. But yeah, of course it would just reduce damage to the whole point of armor. You got thick-ass plate armor. You're kind of hoping that someone tries to slash at you. It's not going to do much. Otherwise, it's crap armor. You know, we don't have a... Still no sign of them coming back to the castle, Murdoch. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the king. You heard wrong. So you say. A damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Have faith, good man. We will defeat this evil together. I... I hope you're right. I've been trying to hold us together, but it isn't easy. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Why does Owen refuse to talk to you? His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Is there anything else you need? 
We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. Tell me about Dwin. He's a trader, a dwarf, lives near the lake, locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. I want to discuss something else. Shouldn't you be trying to reason with Owen? I have some questions. Oh? Ask away. Where can I get supplies? Hmm. If you want weapons and such, you'd go to the blacksmith, but there isn't much left there. But there's nowhere to actually buy or sell things. Ah. Uh, commerce isn't exactly our biggest concern right now, but you might want to speak to Lloyd at the tavern. I wouldn't trust him, though. Tell me about what's happened here. Don't rightly know. We heard the Arl was sick and getting worse, but after a while we heard nothing at all. A few folks went up to the castle to see what was going on. They couldn't get in. Nobody was there, not a soul. And then those horrid creatures attacked the village. They were everywhere, people dying. It was awful. Good thing Bantigan was here. Do you know anything about Arl Eamon's illness? No. I know the Arlesa sent the knights out for a cure. You can ask Sir Perth about it. He was one of them. Carry on, then. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want to surprise them. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Is this all in the blacksmith? I need to speak with you. Oh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been to enough. I'd, pre uh, I'd prefer not to speak through a door. Can I come in? Hmm. All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. And then I kill him. No, not really. Do what I do best. Peacefully convince him to do what I ask him to. Somebody's been drinking. <laughs> so I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? My name is Alderan, a Grey Warden helping Van Tegan. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow. My name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Why have you locked yourself in the smithy? My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead. Or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. So you intend to drink yourself to death? Why not? It's not like we're going to live past the night anyhow. Or are you going to save us? I intend to try. Is that so? Hmm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. I'll do my best. Actually, no, you better. What about the militia? They need your help. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damned thing, and I didn't believe him either. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I promise you, I'll find her. We will do our best. Please believe us, friend. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Right then. 
It seems I have some work to do, relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm gonna get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. It's already a step in the right direction. Hey, I see you found Ooh. my hiding place. I stuck some old equipment in there before Murdoch could get his hands on it. I don't think there's anything you'll need in there. But it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. Couldn't the militia use this? Not if I'm going to repair the equipment they have. That stuff is old, anyhow. Yeah, let me open it for you. I have the key. Hmm. No, it's all bad. Probably not even worth selling. It's all gray. Don't speak to him yet. So got more to do. It seems I must retract a statement I made earlier. The elder mage is not at all like my former master. Oh, that's a good thing, is it? It is, unless you happen to like having your head crushed. Not that I remember doing that. You know, I, I think I even remember who you speak of. His name was Wilhelm. It was a realm of shrill voice and a control rod that he enjoyed wielding very much. Any more than that, he did not divulge. But if it was the same man, he had quite the reputation. A scholar of some means who disappeared mysteriously. Mystery is solved. I killed him. I expect I smiled, much as I'm able to. <laughs> you do speak your mind, don't you? has anything to say. Knock, knock, knock. Door is locked and looks as if it has been recently repaired. No, I'm not gonna lock pick. I ain't got the skill for that. Hello? Knock on the door. I'll try lock picking anyway, screw it. Break open lock. Hey man, I knocked. You didn't listen. Trick you for being a trick. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. Looking for Canary's sword that you bought. You broke into my house for that? It must be worth something to you, then. <laughs> the owner is a very large, angry friend of mine. Since he's not here, I don't see how that's my problem. I'll let it go for six sovereigns. The number's got a nice sound to it, don't you think? Oh, I won't do that. All right, I'll pay it. That wasn't so bad, was it? Now, why don't you take your sword and leave? Murdoch says he needs you for the militia. So what? You recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. The chances are better out there than in here. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. Can I change your mind? Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. I'll put in a good word for you, Bantigian you know, or the Arl. Hmm. You might just be able to pull that off. Fine. I'll throw in with the militia. For now. 
You better be out there too when the sun goes down. I'm not fighting for a lost cause, you hear me? Yeah. Great, so now we already have repaired and better equipment for the militia. We got some more manpower to fight. Skilled manpower. Lots of steps in the right direction. Everybody's chances of survival are exponentially growing. Your races, uh, the race that you choose as well as the class that you choose is going to have different identifiers that are going to have different effects as far as the uh, 